Okay, so we are here. This is what we did yesterday. We did this hike all the way up to here. And today we are going all the way down here, which is where we we're trying to catch the cat to, and hiking this trail to that. All right. Day three. The trek to a town that you can only get to by hiking. It's time to fuel up. Get some cheese butter. I'm all bandaged up. I'm still having shoe problems. I really need to buy a better pair of hiking boots. But today, we are trekking from Valbona National Park, where we are right now, to Theft National Park. So the only way to get there is via trekking. You can definitely drive, but it's the long way. It takes like six hours. So we have all of our stuff. The trailhead starts in the next town over. So our first plan of attack is to try to find a taxi to the trailhead because it'll basically cut that trail in half. A lot of people just leave from this town, but we had a rough day yesterday. Our feet hurt, our knees hurt, our backs hurt. So if we could just find a ride to the trailhead, that's what we're gonna do. I would say we're inexperienced, experienced hikers because we definitely do this more often than the average person, but we still feel like we're not that good at it. We always get lost. We don't aren't totally sure. When we do things, oh. but here goes nothing. Nothing like putting on dirty clothes just to get more dirty. I forgot. Uh, we were gone for five days. I only packed three shirts. <laughs> so. This is day three with this guy. <laughs> it feels like a day three shirt. <laughs> Try getting Transpo, a taxi. It didn't really quite work out because there's the language barrier. It was gonna cost 30 euro too, and we're not. There's no ATMs, and we only pulled out. We think we pulled out enough. Yeah. So there's no ATMs in Valbona or Theft, and we have like just enough. And everything's if we, in euro. So if we spend this 30 euro on a taxi, we might not be able to eat <laughs> last night. I think I have USD. I mean, we'd figure something out, I'm sure, but yeah. so we're going to try to hitchhike. Yep. But look at this. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. Get your thumbs ready. <laughs> so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, oh god, I hope we can get picked up. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Success! Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. It's the only thing I can No, this oh, is, this is amazing. Amazing. Beggars <laughs> can't be choosers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Perfect, thank uh, you so much. Yes. <laughs> So this is our friend Ed we just met from the hey UK guys. and we'll be hiking some of the way together. Yeah, see, how, see how far we get. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys trip off, yeah? Oh. 
so far. Beautiful. Straight climb up. So amazing. I can't believe I'm drinking this cold frappe coffee on the mountaintop. Adorable cafe. And there's a spring down here to fill up your water bottles. So far, this hike is great. I mean, it's been pretty tough, but when you have cute little stops like this, this is awesome. It's like a luxury trek. Wow, look at those views. <laughs> Here we go. I think we have like about 300 meters until we reach the highest point, so the pass, and then it's all downhill from there. Which sounds bad, but in hiking terms, it's good news. So we are going up there. We see people on this ridge line, I'm here, and then possibly there. There's the trail. This is absolutely breathtaking. Who would ever guess this is Albania? Is the direction we're going. But we're headed up to the viewpoint because we're here. Yes. We're so here. we have to do it. So we're gonna do it. Yeah. Climb to the top, tippy top. We'll show you the view from the bottom, and it looks like there's no way we're going to that little peak, but this is literally so beautiful. And these bugs, how are they living up here? Fuck the tourists. <laughs> Well, we're gonna eat good tonight. A bit outside my comfort zone up here. Thank you very much. It's literally straight down, like no survival. Stay low. <laughs> Terrifying. Holy. Wow, look at him go. He's really climbing mountains. <laughs> Wow, we did it. We came from all the way down there. Look at you go. Like an armor grab. You know if there's a for the next like water places? It's a cafe, probably. Joe is very scared of heights. There's probably. There's rocks and cliffs and I know I can die. 
So the fact that he's doing this is like, it's amazing. Okay, now the hard part, getting down. Right. Can you imagine, Oh my gosh. That is terrible. Oh, these are the ones that are landing on us. Oh yeah? Yeah. We just left our friend Ed at this camping spot. He doesn't have reservations anywhere, so he's, he's like, I think I'm gonna just call it here. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, oh, we wish we could too. <laughs> oh Way back there somewhere. We're still hiking. It says 25 minutes, but Bad move on the guest house choice. <laughs> hey, everybody. Who thought the Albanian Alps? Right? Wow. <sighs> oh, my goodness. <sighs> oh. <sighs> We've gotten here to our place. It's nice and Little and cute, it's perfect. It's cleaner than the last place. It was an amazing hike. Man, oh, Whew. very challenging, but very, very rewarding um, at the same time. So, holy moly. We are sitting down for dinner at our place. We just arrived here. Bustina, which means Hotel Cometa. It's it's great. It's clean. It's beautiful. The views. Our host is sweet. Yeah. This can be. They have a Pomeranian and the Rocky is free. Oh and my gosh. Yes. Wowzers. And bon appetit. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're okay. <laughs> I'm ready to eat. <sighs> Ah, oh, there's one. Oh God. Looky. That's too close. Oh yeah. That's oh. just one foot. 